What I desire most in life right now is definitely to be happy. When you don't waste time, like you're like, okay, I'm gonna do this for this reason. I feel like as soon as there's like hesitancy, which I felt I had a lot of when I was younger, you're kind of just like rolling through life and, and you kind of want to power through life. Have dedication, have drive, utilize your time to be humble in, in victory and in defeat and let your surfing be a beautiful picture and representation of you. And then remind yourself like, go do something that makes you happy. We made it to Aracera, Portugal. It's been really nice to have the few days after US Open to decompress and kind of just jump into a new environment. We're straight into shaking off the jet lag, trying new boards, figuring out a brand new wave. Okay, we're changing it up today. It's been a lot of trial and error at the comp site and I think it's gonna change a lot tomorrow for the event, so we're risking it, and we're gonna go soul surfing. <laughs> we have time to go there, surf, come back here, more coffee, avocado toast, surf the contest, oh, then green is good, then bathroom massage. Yeah, right. <laughs> One thing I've Speed. learned is that everything takes a lot longer than you think. She's a year and a week younger than me. And my perspective of entering your 30s is that we need to really enjoy what we've created in our past and that we need to always count our blessings and really understand why we started it. And me and her started surfing shores with her brother at Sunset Beach, back to cheering each other on and having fun. Contest is off, it's raining and cold, and I'm in the car going on a mission to who knows where. Disaster. <laughs> You're telling me. Yep, Billy's dragging me on one of his missions. It's a goose chase. an amazing wave at last and I forgot my wetsuit so waiting for a dear friend to come surf bring a wetsuit and have the session of our lives <laughs> savior right there First fourth one. session of the day for her First one. second one.
we've all surfed and it's day before the contest, but we found one more way to like, get a little competitive juices flowing before the contest tomorrow. Coco thinks she's a competitor. About to see. It's always nice to kind of start the rankings with a nice result, like the third place at US Open. But I do know that the tides are always going to change. The forecast looks every size this week. Um, so I'm trying to just break away from that and be like, go surf and enjoy everything around you. I think that's really important for me because I've always come to events with like one track mind of like heats, 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 because I'm like so programmed to compete and be on tour that it, it is making it like, whoa, if you don't do it now, then I don't think I'll compete again. So that, that maybe that's why I'm trying so hard, you know? Like, I don't know, it's crazy. In the beginning of last year, I was content with like never competing again. Like I was like, whoa, that's that, no worries. And then now that I am doing it again, I could feel maybe a little bit of pressure being like, it doesn't happen now what are you really gonna quit um, because I've been doing it for so long so I'm really trying to be present enjoy perform and that's it up for round one of this event in Aracera and I'm looking forward to putting the jersey on because the waves look really fun. I know it can change really quickly but just gonna go with what I get. Got a little pep in her step, which is good. I know she's in a good headspace. She's surfing better than ever. A really good result here would go a long way in her hopes to qualifying. So fingers are crossed. I know she's got it in her. Yeah, come on. And a very warm welcome to the Mayo Visla Pro Erisira. Heat number seven of a round of 64 Challenger Series action for the women. Coco Ho on the top seeds coming up. And a real tricky wave for her. Very small scores, 0.37. This was the wave we actually got early on, Pete. Yeah, earned a 5.33. Wow. Applying the pressure to the veteran here in Coco Ho. And this was the Shino Matsuda in her first wave. Look at this nice vertical face, and she attacks it nicely. Coco uh, is going to have to fight back in this. Look up against it here, Pete. Under 12 minutes to go. She's got just a 4.1 of her high score. But here goes Coco. She's found a good entry into this wave. It's a nice opening section. And lively, keeping that board moving. Be patient, keep snapping and swinging. And she'll get a little racetrack wall through here. Nice carve off the rail from her. Good spray. And that board again. Another nice snap from her. The redirection, the nose going completely back the other way. A little jam on the rail as well. Much better stuff from Coco. It's a 5.57. She's out the back. She does have priority. Her requirement, 7.26. She's more than capable of that. Let's see if she can get an opportunity. 90 on the clock. Coco she basically needs to go this way. Her requirement, 7.26 for the Hawaiian. And a real tricky way for her. Time's going to tick away. Yeah, that's it. Coco just a little bit baffled in there. Just got really sort of starved out of the good waves. That's that rhythm, which was so key. Coco, that'll be it for her. She'll reprocess. Bit of free surfing timeout. 
for the rest of this swell in Portugal before heading up to France, of course. Today was a classic round one shocker. Of course, it's like when it's very important and you're riding the momentum of a really good result, it, it hurts to kind of mess with that momentum. And I've never like needed points before to qualify. So I'm in like a fully new predicament in, in surfing than I've ever been. I'm like chasing something, whereas before I was always just like maintaining something. So it is a bit interesting and I feel like it was like meant to be because I was meant to like make sure it was like a little reality check of like how bad do you want it? How much are you gonna like learn from this mistake? How bad did it hurt? How good are you at just holding holding through the, the pain, you know, of the losing? And I think I'm like doing a really good job. I haven't taken it like extremely personal, you know? I'm trying not to like just punish myself necessarily. It's a new mentality for sure. Losing out this early in the event, I do have to like step back and look at the positives of we still have a week here in Portugal. I'm surrounded by my dear friends, my lover, my brother and everyone, friends and family and we're in a beautiful country with beautiful waves. So I think that's why I haven't even teared yet today is because I've like been constantly surrounded by the best people and at this day and age, it's all about like gratitude and um, just being so grateful for that, you know, simple things. Brought the wrong board, attitude's piss poor. <laughs> But Mark's here and Juliet's here and we're alive and healthy. Honestly, I had a really good time. I don't like seeing her not do as well as she can or as well as she wants, but it's always good getting out of my world and stepping into her. I think she took the loss good. I think she's embarrassed to lose in the first round after being in the semifinals at the comp before. It's not a good feeling. She handled it like a champ, and hopefully it lit a fire under her ass for the next one. You. Have a safe flight. Maybe see you in 10 minutes. I love you. You guys are trying to delay me, bro. Bye. Bye, skater boy. Packing all the stuff for Portugal. We got a nine hour drive tomorrow morning. To France, new scenery, new beach break, another chance. Same mindset. I don't think I was that off in this event, but clearly I was with the ocean. It was really good to just 
get really good waves the past couple days and just be sure of my ability and that this is the dream.